Hi, let's have a look at uh, using QS Pro for Windows to create a bill of quantities or an estimate. QS Pro is a great product for bills and estimates. Let's kick off. I'm going to go file new. I'm going to create a new bill. Let's just call this new bill. Okay, and by default it's going to give me an SMM7 library. There's a whole variety of libraries that you can have. I'm just going to double click masonry. I want some bricks. Uh, I want some wall. And let's have one half brick thick stretcher bond. I need a quantity in here, let's go and measure that quantity. Um, so this quantity, I've got a times in column, can be any kind of calculation type, type of uh, equation here. 0.5 times 6.4 divided by 3.4 times 5.6. Okay, I can put in deductions, I can say minus 1 uh, times 2.4. In, in that case. If I've got uh, common, so this is a common height, I'm just pressing it, there's some more lines here just to make it a bit more interesting. Let's just put that two in there to uh, better. If I want a constant in here, I can just press the K constant button, bring that in so you can see it. Constant in the B column, let's call that 1.8. Add constant, do I add it below? Yes, you can see 1.8 added in there. 16.188 is the total when I exit, 16.1 goes in. If I want to copy that item, I can just copy and rogue it and make that one book thick. Okay, um, and if I may have sidecasts, so let's go and create a sidecast. I may say uh, girth and girth may well be something like two times four point. Total at 20.2, close that down, and it may well be that in here I'm going to add that on from that calculation into the B column, and I may want to link it. So I add that on, it comes in there, close that down, maybe 3.5, and that may be uh, uh, some. some When I exit from there, it gets rounded up to 71. If that side cast changes, let's say that will imagine it is 5.6, it goes to 6.6. And what about uh, here? It goes to 22. And I'll move that out one as you can see. It. If I go close, that number gets updated, the measurement gets updated. I can put in rates here if I want. 10 pounds for that, maybe. So I can do full resource analysis on here. You can see that the net total is being updated. Let's print this bill and press the print button. I've got a whole variety of choices here. Let's have prices, page total. So let's put in a heading there. And then, oh, okay, I'm going to print this to let's use a standard box one template. Print and it comes straight out there. Let's bring that in so you can see it. Okay, there's the bill. All of these fonts, spaces, underlines, so on, all of this is all fully customizable. Uh, there's a total in there because I asked for prices. There's a collection page and a summary page. And if I want that in Excel, I just easily, I just come in here, and as you can see, and I say print to, I can print to Citee, a text file, and I can do a resource report. Let's just have an Excel report here. Let's just print to that. It'll, it'll give me a preview as well. But it's printing the doing the Excel in the background. Let's pull in Excel, and you can see that. Let's try and make it so it's uh, easier for you to see. Okay, there's my full. That's, that's what the bills come out in. It's given me. It automatically gives me the calculations uh, for the extension. If I didn't want, if I wanted to uh, print that out without prices on here, okay. I just uncheck the appropriate checkbox. I say I don't want prices. Um, I want it to Excel print. Uh, it comes out again, and there it is in Excel, not printed. QS Pro for Windows. Please have a look at it.